Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at upgradable thrusters, which are not these things you are looking at in the background. Oh no, they are vanilla thrusters. These are the upgradable thrusters which I have put facing them so you can sort of see the difference between them. So what are these thrusters for? Well, with the vanilla thrusters, there was only so fast you can go before you had to add in more thrusters if you wanted to go faster. These upgradable thrusters are to avoid that situation where you can add a module onto the thrusters, increasing its speed by 2, 4, 8 or 16 times at the cost of more fuel or more power consumption. This will simply stop it so you don't have to overcrowd your ship with thrusters, you can simply have one super powerful one. So this is the modded hydrogen thruster. It's not too different from the vanilla ones if you really look at it. Slightly different base. But it largely remains the same in their looks and that's basically the same for all these thrusters. The atmospheric thrusters, the vanilla ones I've actually put the wrong way around but let's just very quickly take a look around the back there. So that's the back of the atmospheric of the vanilla ones and this is the back of the modded ones. And as we come around the back here, here is the front. So they're largely the same on the front, it's simply the rear which is a little bit different. And then of course we have the vanilla ion thrusters just sitting there and then the modded ion thrusters slightly different little barrel if you could call it a little barrel yes a little bit different but still largely the same so how do you upgrade it well when you press g and come over to av tech you'll see you have lots of options of course we have the thrusters here if you want to add them onto your ship but then we have all these things sitting over here and you're probably looking at the t1 t2 t3 and t4 and asking What's that all about? Because they are all identical in this row. That is essentially the upgrades. So if you wanted to have times two speed, you would put on a T1. If you wanted to have a times four speed, you would put on a T2, then times eight for a T3, and times 16 for a tier four. And that's how it works. If I come over to tab number two, where I've set it up, I can then attach a thruster upgrade onto the flamey part of the thruster. I say flamey part because you don't want to put it on the other end, it has to be sitting over where the, basically your blocks will be damaged. So as you see I can just slide it on, boom! That has now been upgraded to a tier 4 thruster. It's 16 times faster than the vanilla now but it does consume more power. And if I was to press number 2 we have an armoured version which we can then mouse wheel up and down to change its tier. Let's go for a tier 3. So here it is, I'm trying to put it on, but I need to rotate it, and it will simply snap in place, boom. It's now a tier 3 armoured thruster. Great, isn't it? But what about the big ones? Well, it's basically the same. We can just plop them on there if you want, mouse wheel up and down if you want to change the tier. So that, let's go for a tier 3, add that on there. And then, last but not least, we have sloped. Sloped thrusters to then attach onto the large, so it ends up looking like that. Of course, if you had the thrusters the same colour, it would look a little better, but I didn't for, well, viewing purposes. And those are what you get. So you get one of each thruster, you get a small upgrade, a large upgrade, and of course, armoured variants and sloped versions for you to use. So before I move on to the testing part of the video, you can attach these onto the vanilla ones, but they simply will not work because they have to be used with the modded thrusters. But you can if you want to just add these on if you want to make them a little bit more prettier. So uh, I could just plop that on there or miss it completely. And then we could just have... Yeah, basically like that, but I forgot I had plane mode on. Anyway, let's test this out. So what I've done here is spawned in two atmospheric fighters. The one on the right I have upgraded with tier 4 modded thrusters. The one on the left has got the vanilla thrusters. So let's take the vanilla one for a quick spin. I'm just going to press forwards, and there it goes. Now maximum speed, and now I'm going to start slowing down. It's okay, isn't it? It's nothing too bad. But now I'm going to hop out and fly back over to here and get into the modded one. So I'm now in the modded one, and I'm going to, like last time, press forward. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, that's that's a little bit. That's a little bit faster, I feel. It's like, nearm, nearm. Wow, that's fast. 
Jesus Christ. It's just... Time 16, I think, is a bit much, but it does make it a lot more fun, and it does, for some odd reason, make planes a lot more easier to control. Just being able to stop so quickly. Oh, look at that. That was, that was actually pretty good. Boom. Flying forwards. Let's just do a quick turn around. Now I'm flying forwards again. That's really weird. So if I was to reverse, reversing at maximum speed, W. <laughs> That's kind of impressive, actually. Really impressive. I am kind of wondering if I could just spawn in a much larger ship now. So what I've done is turned off all the regular atmospheric thrusters on here, and I simply have two modded ones sitting on there. Pressing down space, it's not going anywhere. But now I'm going to add some upgrades to it, some tier 4 upgrades to it. One tier 4 there, and one tier 4 there. Simple, right? And now I'm going to press space and see what happens. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Just having two of these is enough to basically counteract all those atmospheric thrusters on there, the two which are hidden inside, and even more hidden around the base of this ship. And that is basically it for this mod. They are simply modded thrusters that are to replace the vanilla thrusters, which can be upgraded to your heart's content, provided you have enough power and hydrogen to fuel them, because if you are using the hydrogen thrusters, you will need to have more ice, because it will consume more hydrogen. So it will be in the description below if you wish to download it and try it yourself. Let's just crash into this planet. The planet is Karak, I believe it is. I was going to do a showcase on it, but there wasn't too much to talk about with it. So I'm just going to plow this into the ground and I'll leave it there. So thank you all for watching. And I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.